<clears throat> what up? What up? What up, Libra Lee Jones? Welcome back to the channel. For those that are new, for those that are returning, thank you. Always a pleasure. This channel has been growing. Let's keep growing. Let's reach all them legions in this world so I can be of service to as many Libra legions as I can. All right. I'm so excited because I got a lot of channeled messages for you, Libras, right? This is, this is about, you know, you being your authentic self and people trying to, trying to diminish, trying to, um, trying to lower your vibe, your vibe, right? They're trying to say that, you know, you're not self-made, right? <laughs> They're trying to pull a, a highly Jenner on you, right? Where they're saying, you weren't self-made. You got the help from your family, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, a lot of channeled messages in regard to that. People just being envious, jealous of you, Libra. Um, wow, how can a... How could someone be jealous of a Libra when a Libra always seems to want to share everything they have, right? Libras are so generous, so considerate and mindful of others, right? In fact, they're willing to take the, the shirt, their sweater, in this case, off their back, you know, to hand it to someone of need, to a friend that's cold, right? It, it it literally amazes me, but this is these are some channeled messages I was getting, so let's get into it. Make sure you give this video a like as soon as you come in. Smash that subscribe button, knock out that notification bell so you get updated on your next video. And most importantly, Libra. Are you Legion strong? <laughs> are you Legion strong? Hmm. Put some white shit on there. Are you Legion strong, Libra? Are you Legion strong? Let's find out. Spirit, what does Libra need to know? Okay. Yeah, see, you're... You're gaining a lot of clarity. This is why I was channeling so much lately. You're getting a lot of downloads, right? A lot, a lot of downloads, a lot of uh, information from the collective, literally straight to your higher conscious. Your intuition is at its peak right now, okay? With the Queen of Cups. I don't know if this is influences of Leo on you, Libras, but you're just within your most divine self, right? You're divine, you're sexy. These are some affirmations I'm giving you. Remember who the fuck you are, right? Who are you? Who are you? I'm Oscar motherfucking Reyes. You know, I say that with pride because some of the things that people envy, I just get, I just, I'm getting more channel messages, is that, right? You seem to cultivate, you seem to culminate your pinnacle, right? You seem to triple, quadruple, right? Everything you make, six ways, nine ways, you know? You got money coming in all different types of ways. This could be money or this could be spirituality, right? Please take it as it resonates. But what I'm trying to say is that you're evolving, right? You're evolving. You're becoming the best version of yourself. You're a better version of who you were yesterday and you're stepping in to a better version of who you are today for tomorrow. Um, right? You, you put in that work and that's what people forget to admit to themselves is that, you know, they view you, Libra, as the high priestess. They view you as the all-knowing. Like, they question, how does Libra know the things they know? How does Libra have the experience Libra has? Right? Libra has this experience because 
You've put in the time, right? So people try to question or diminish your talent. They may say, wow, you know, Libra takes a couple seconds, a couple minutes, you know, a couple hours to, to produce something that, that's so beautiful, master-like, masterpiece. And, you know, they, meanwhile, they're trying to produce or emulate, right? Because a lot, you influence a lot of people. So a lot of people try to copy who you are or your energy, and then they find that they have difficult doing it. So just the things that they were just mentioning and talking shit about you, Libra, now they're having difficulty exploring those same areas of life. What people seem to forget for you, Libra, is that you've put in the work, right? You've put in the time. The reason why it takes you maybe a few seconds, a few minutes of your day to complete a task. For others, it may take a week or months, maybe even years. <clears throat> it's because it took you five, ten years to be able to make that product, that result in that amount of short amount of time, right? You you like you know, if, if you, if I were to assign you a task, right, something that you're super good at, right, and I would have asked you to produce this result 10 years ago, five years ago, and then compare it to the result of what you would make now, right, your, your productivity, right, your assembly line, like uh, Henry Ford, back then would have been moving at a so much slower pace, right? Now, your assembly line of 2022 is moving at a pace of light speed. But that's because you took the time, you put in the work to be able to make things happen in a month, a year, to make them happen within an hour, some minutes, right? That is the work that you've been putting in. So people continue to try to Decept your energy to others. They're trying to lower your energy, your vibrations. They're trying to talk shit behind you. But just remember, Libra, they're in the right spot. Behind you. Atrás de ti. Okay? You keep, you keep stepping it forward. You keep it pushing, right? You keep doing what you're meant to do in this world. And that's take action. Take action, chase your dreams, make your reality, make your dreams a reality. At the bottom of the deck, we have the judgment card. So this is your challenge. Your challenge is to defer, to decipher, to differentiate, to use discernment, to make things that you feel challenged by in life. At your, turn them over to your mercy, right? Flip the script. Co-create your life. Change the narrative of what you seem to be fearful or challenged by. The things that people don't realize, right? Wow, this is, this. I'm strong. I just heard, like, this is the reading of the, of how people think about you. <laughs> oh, spirit, you're funny. Okay, so yeah. Judgment, right? This is that Dharma wheel, right? You've struggled in your past already. You've already dealt with that seven of swords. You've already dealt with that five of cups, right? You've dealt with those people, places, and things that challenged you, that made things difficult for you. You've dealt with that. So the reason why you're at where you're at is because you put in the work again. People, a lot of people, maybe new people in your life that weren't around when you were struggling, right? And that's just the way things are, right? So people will want to come into your life. They'll want to attract to you when you have something to offer, when they feel like they can, you know, gain something from you. It's like, oh, okay, so now you want to be with me. Now you want to talk to me. Now you want to be my friend. What about when I was struggling? What about when I was reaching out to you and asking you for help. Where were you then, right? It's like, I remember who's loyal, right? I remember who's definitely um, always had their best interests for me, right? And those that are just, you know, trying to bottom feed,
not welcomed. So we have the Empress. Okay, you share this card with Taurus. This is the Ace of Discs, right? You're attracting that, that abundance, that money. Nine of Discs, clarified by the Ace of Discs. Well, this is where you're heading. You're on this like trajectory of incline where you just keep going up, 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 right? Reach for the sky, reach for your higher power, right? Ask him to guide you. Oh, I'm getting chills. Ask him to guide you through everything that you seem unfeasible, that everything you seem that you may have challenge, challenges with. Yeah, anything that you fear. I love it when spirit clarifies what I'm already channeling. Um, what, what's your final outcome, Libra? 11, 11 on the clock. Your final outcome is the six of cups, right? Remember to stay humble. Remember to stay pure. Remember to hold on to your innocence, right? Remember to hold on to that inner Bambi of yourself where you can be, you know, genuine, authentic, pure, right? Obviously, there's periods of life where you may be so-called sinning or having bad habits. And then there's others where you could be in glory and, you know, being of service, showing your humility. At the bottom of the deck, what you need to hold on to is that energy of being your most authentic self, that energy of radiancy, of glow, okay? Because you keep glowing up. You keep balling up. You keep glowing up. You keep bossing up. You keep, you keep bossying up. Okay, you just got all these bosses that you're becoming, right? Which reminds me, a lot of you Libras, okay, are going to be bosses for others. Make sure to remember where you came from, right? Always remember where you came from and where you're heading. And I say this all the time, but life is a journey. It's not a destination, right? Yeah, and look at this. I was just talking about this, the Five of Cups, right, earlier. The Five of Cups. There's people in your life that you're gonna realize that are going to disappoint you because you're like, you honestly thought you gave them an opportunity. You thought, oh, maybe this person, maybe this relationship's going to be different. So there's obviously the factor of inevitable change always coming and presenting itself forward in your life. It's difficult to, you know, handle change, especially when it's uncomfortable. Remember, again, change the narrative, change the way you view, change the perspective of that narrative, of that story. You know, how can you take control back of that narrative? How can you gain knowledge from your mistakes? How can you apply those mistakes to future life lessons? With that being said, I hope this message resonated, Libra. This is how people view and gossip about you. With that being said, I hope that you give this video a like as before you exit. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button, knock out that notification bell so you get updated on your next video. Much love. And Libra, don't forget to live out your best legacy. One more thing. Remember when I talked about the God box? Make sure you write a manifestation in the comments below so that I can choose the manifestation to throw in into the God box at the end of the week, at the seventh day of when it began, right? We're gonna burn all of the manifestations in the fire pit and release the energy to the universe, okay? So I did the first one yesterday. Now, who's taking the second one?